In this video tutorial, we're, we're actually going to have a look inside a website theme for E107. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is set up an FTP or SFTP connection to your website and log in. Now, if you uh, haven't got an FTP program, there's lots of free ones that you can get from download.com. Uh, we use a program called Secure Effects because it allows SFTP connections, which are a lot more secure. Um, once you've logged in, you'll see a folder structure like this. So I'm working on the Grands website at the moment. Um, it shows all these folders. Your website is actually in the web folder. Homes contains all of the users for that website, but we're just concerned with the web folder. Next, you'll want to go to the E107 themes folder. And inside there are all the themes that are available for your website. In this instance, I'm using the clean template that's available for download, so you can see what I've done when I make a theme. Um, from time to time, you may need to actually change like the background color of a page. Normally what I do is just make a really big table that's 100% tall and wide so it just takes up the whole page but if you do need to actually get into the body or uh, header stuff that's in the templates folder and you'll see that there's a file called header default that you can edit but most of the time you're actually just going to be playing around with your with your own theme so you go inside clean templates and if I uh, go on this side over here which is my local computer we can see that inside there there's theme.php now that contains the basic structure of your website, the layout of your website. Then you've got style.css, which is uh, the cascading style sheet for your website. Preview.jpg is what shows up um, when you're looking through the themes on your website. And I'll just show you what that looks like. If I go to grandparents raising grandchildren, I'm already logged in. Go into the admin area. And then go to Tools Theme Manager. You'll see that for the clean template, here's my little screen cap. And that's this file here, preview.jpg. You've got these other folders here which aren't that necessary, but I'll explain in more depth what they are as we actually look through the theme.php file. Now the first, the first thing I want you to do is actually create your own HTML document. Now make it as simple as possible because you've got lots of stuff to learn as you go through making the theme. If you've never done PHP before, you'll get to see some PHP code as well. Um, but I'll show you the basic theme that I made for clean template. If we go over here. So all I've done is I've made like a header area that's going to contain our logo. Then below that, I've got a menu area that will contain our site links. And then this left column over here will be where I'll place our login menu and our chat box menu. The center area is, is for our main content, such as the news page or um, articles and content pages. And the right-hand column over here, um, I could put a calendar in there or even the other news summary so they can click, click to the news pages. And at the bottom in our footer, that's just going to create our, um, that's where we're going to create our site disclaimer, which can be edited in the admin area under settings preferences. So let's just have a quick look at that source. So you can see what my page looks like. I've made it as basic as possible. Um, I've also kept a lot of the style actually in the theme itself. So you can see what I'm doing. We don't need to worry about header and title tags and so forth because E107 is actually going to write those out for us. What we need to be looking at is everything below body because that's what we're going to put into the theme. Um, I, I always do comment tags like this just so we know where we are. So this is the main table start. You know, I've given it a width of 700 pixels. You can see what's going on there. I've told it to col span three of the columns. So it's going to go right across the page. And you're probably familiar with all of this sort of stuff. But you can look through that file. You can download it from the website and just see what I've done there.